Hi, my name is Robin Symes, Director of the RMI Golf Institute. If I was to say to you that impact the club face is perfectly square and the path was left of target, where would you say the ball will start and finish? You'd probably say the ball will start to the left in the direction of the swing path and curl back, slice back towards the target where the club face was aiming. This is wrong. This is a fundamental misunderstanding of the impact laws, which is stopping people developing and improving their golf. Actually, the ball will start a lot closer to the club face aim at impact, not the direction of the swing. So in this same situation, understanding impact laws, the ball will actually start very close to the target line and curl to the right. How much will depend on how fast you're swinging or what club you're using. Same could be reversed for a hook shot. The club face could be squared impact, not closed. Your path is to the right, the ball will start in the direction of the club face, quite close to the target line and hook to the left of the target. And people could be standing there thinking their club face is open for a slice, trying to rotate their hands or make their grip stronger. When it's not the club face is the problem, it's the swing path. So now that we know the new impact laws, if you're a slicer, let me give you some advice to getting your path more to the right because your path is too much to the left. Number one, when you take your address, Let's start with the hands a little more in front of the ball. Number two, alignment. Most slicers are aiming too much to the left. That's going to encourage the path to be the left. Let's get you set up square or even aim a little to the right side of the target. It's going to help your path be to the right side of the target. Through the impact area, I want you to do two things. I want you to try to feel like the end of the club is going up and to the right. Again, encouraging the path to be the right. And lastly, make sure that you keep your weight moving to your left foot and keep it there through impact. Slicers will move back to the right, pulling across the ball. So what if your player who tends to miss left tends to hit hook shots? Let's reverse that. Let's make sure you don't aim to the right. Aim fairly square or slightly left of the target. Number two, make sure your ball position is not too much to the right. That's going to encourage a rightward path. Make sure the ball position is up to the left foot. Again, encouraging the path to be more to the left. Okay, in the actual swing itself, what we're going to try to do is we're going to make sure that our shoulders are rotating open through the impact area. And lastly, I want the end of the club, I want the club moving to the left through the impact area. So understand these new impact laws because if you do, you've got a chance of working on the correct things in your practice to help you develop your game.